Right, so a popular thing to do seems to be to upgrade the circuit board in the Ender 3 Pro and uh, unlike my business uh, and my colleagues looking at very expensive TV main boards and things like that, <laughs> these are actually in the sort of 30, 40, 50 pounds region. Uh, this one I've got here comes with um, an LCD touch screen uh, with the PCB for £86. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So cheap. Um, anyway, so I thought we'd just have a quick look. At some point with all the USB plugging in and out of the computer, the main board is going to fail so I thought we might as well get another one either to fit now or <laughs> at least to be ready for when the other one goes wrong. Uh, so that looks like it is the circuit board, I think. Yep, circuit board. This seems to be a feature of uh, Big Tree Tech, uh, a little duck. We have some heat sinks and some uh, link uh, bits there. A tiny short USB cable, not sure what we're going to do with that. Big Tree Tech business card. And that is that. So I suppose we'll have a look at the LCD first. Now I don't know whether I'm going to need to 3D print something for this, uh, you know, the case wise, or whether this is a direct replacement for the one that's uh, factory fitted. Okay, so um, TFT 3.5 E3 version 3.0. Uh, I've got a date of the 29th of the 6th, 2020. So well, that's quite promising. That is not even a month old. A little bit of protection. A bit more protection. In fact, I'll keep that out. This is going back in a box. So. That's what we've got. Uh, quite a lot going on in the back there. We've got USB and full size uh, SD card holder there. So obviously that is not going to be a direct replacement. We're going to have to print a new rear cover. I'm just going to go and line it up. In fact, let me take the camera with me and uh, let's have a little look. I reckon that probably is a direct replacement, but with the bits in the side there, we're going to have to do a new rear case for it. In case you're wondering what is going on there, let me spin the screen now so I can see it. I'm printing a, uh, I've never heard of this, it's a heat tower. Uh, it basically is printing a pattern going up at certain temperatures, so at the moment it's on the absolute max. Uh, in fact, it's five degrees higher than the uh, PLA Plus should be ever used at. Um, but as I think, I think it progresses up, uh, printing at different temperatures, and then when it's all done, you can look down and see which is the best layer uh, for your... Sorry, the, find the best layer, and that will tell you what temperature it is at, and you know, whichever one is the best one, that's the temperature you should be using, uh, generally, for your... Uh, PLA Plus in my case, that's a Sun Lu uh, one. So yeah, that's what's going on there. Don't know how long it's going to take. That's being printed direct from the uh, uh, Ultimator, Ultimaker Cura program via USB. Uh, it's G-code. Uh, normally you get a preview, as you get a prepare preview, preview and monitor sections but this time it can tell me nothing, uh, it can't even tell me the percentage that it's uh, done because it didn't slice this up, it was just printing the g-code for us. So anyway we're going to leave that to go. So it does, you know, is that going to be a direct placement? I think it might be, I think that might be. I'm looking at the position of the studs, you can just see the little uh, outlines there of the studs and I think that will go Right over there. So I'm hoping that is a direct replacement. There are other sizes of LCD screen which uh, of course would not be a direct replacement. Um, 
Oh, why do they do this? They can't make a flipping knob without the cutoff. It's a rotary encoder, so it doesn't need any kind of slot or marking like the original uh, comes with. That's why I fitted a, uh, an unmarked guitar <laughs> knob, so you lose this stupid line or cutout or whatever you've got. Uh, so we've got a reset button, uh, rotary encoder with push button obviously, USB, SD card, we've got EXP 1, 2 and 3 and I believe all of them are used, um, actually at least two is and my understanding was for the touch screen to work it um, needed all three. No idea where that one goes. Oh, I see in there. RS232 and SWD. No idea. And, uh, yeah, no idea. I'm pretty certain I read that it needed the three of these, but uh, I guess we'll see. Oh, maybe it's because the Ender has already got one, obviously. So you do have three. You've got the two and the one in the machine. So yes, no point in then sending it out another one. The uh, chip on there is an STM32F207 uh, by it's an ARM, ST ARM chip. So yeah, remove seal after washing. Oh, that is a little buzzer there so obviously once they've finished cleaning the board down after manufacture they can uh, just remove that seal and uh, maybe that will keep it a bit quieter actually so I'm going to leave that on there for the time being so yeah nothing too unusual there okay so let's have a look at this PCB. Seems very hit and miss on Amazon, what's available and what isn't. Uh, I was quite lucky to get this I think because a lot of the stuff is either coming from China uh, in, you know, in weeks rather than the next day that this was. So we have the circuit board, it has a 2 amp blade fuse there, so it looks like we've got the ground and DC in socket here, we have ground and DC in here as well, and all the others are labelled, give you a better look. big copper heat plane there, we've got the drivers on the other side, again all marked X, Y, Z and extruder, again USB and micro SD and there is a card in there already, 128 meg card already fitted so I don't know whether that is firmware or whatever. Now. We've also got some extra things we can use here. Um, power detection, NeoPixel, whatever that is. Uh, we can fit a uh, auto leveling BL Touch probe to this. And there's a dedicated thing somewhere, socket for it somewhere. I can't see it, but it's, it's there somewhere. This is the SKR Mini 3 version 2.0 and uh, that's about all I've got to say on that one. <laughs> we will um, get the machine dialed in with its current PCB and uh, go from there. Seems quite well made.
Let's actually focus on that, I really can't see the screen. Let's go back and have a quick look at that, whatever that is printing. Okay, so... Um, it's printing... Oh, it actually says the temperature... Let me just zoom in on this. Yeah, there you go, it's got the temperature printed on that section and it's built a little platform. Interesting. So I guess each stage will have its, uh, its temperature printed on it. So yeah, there we go, it looks like it's come down to 235 now, so it's going to come down in 5 degree steps. So yeah, we'll let that finish and... Uh, We'll update later on on that one, but as far as this circuit board screen goes, 85 quid, I think it's a pretty good price if it's got as many extra features as I think it has. Um, and touch screen, that should be excellent. Okay, catch you later.